Welcome back, everyone. This is Bourbon Judge. First and foremost, happy Sunday. Just want to give, I want to start out by saying, giving a shout out to everyone out there who watches the video. So, uh, David, uh, Alec, Caltech, ABC, XYZ, David Toms, Andre, K Banks, Uncle Buck, um, so many different people. My man Ivy, my man Ivy always reaches out. I like that guy. He's a cool guy. And just honestly, so many guys and gals out there. I really wanted to just say thank you guys for watching the channel and just honestly enjoying my love of bourbon with me. And I love enjoying it with you guys, hearing about your feedback in terms of what you guys like, what you dislike, and so forth. So just want to start off by saying thank you. All right. Um, so today we're going to go ahead and uh, review Old Granddad 114. All right. The front of the bottle. There's the back. I'm gonna keep this today's video a little bit quick, right? Super quick for Sunday. So you guys obviously know that this is a Jim Beam product, right? And a couple of weeks ago, maybe almost even a month ago, I reviewed um, Old Tub, right? Which recently put out their, their version of like the limited release, 100 proof. And a lot of people think that it's very similar. So I was like, you know what? I haven't actually did a comparison, but I wanna just see how good is O Grandad and how different is it maybe potentially compared to the O Tub, right? And I'll do a future episode where I truly compare the two, but I'm kind of going off memory here. All right. So O Grandad 114, what do we know? Jim Bean product, obviously. Um, they make O Grandad, I think it's like 80, it used to be 86, now it's 80. They make a bottle and a bottle, 100. They make this version as well, the 114. There's no age statement, but we do know uh, with Old Granddad, it has a high rye mash bill, right? So cor corn, number one, always comes in at, the 50, at least 50%. And then I think for this one, I think the um, corn is actually like 73%. And rye is like 20 or 25%, I believe it is, right? So it's a very high rye mash bill. All right. Um, and we think about it from a price standpoint, very affordable, anywhere from 25 to $30. And you can find Old Granddad 114 everywhere. I mean, it's it's everywhere for the most part, right? So that's the cool thing about it, right? So the question is, even though it's everywhere, how good is it really, right? You don't know, honestly, right? Who knows? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour it. So I'm gonna drop a little bit of knowledge on you guys. So when you think about Old Granddad, a couple of things come to mind for me. This one has been around for almost 180 years, going back to 1840, right? And when it was started out, it was started by a gentleman by the name of Raymond Hayden and the picture on the front was his grandfather who was a well-known master distilled at the time Basil Hayden's have you heard that name before Basil Hayden's ha! all right so that's the gentleman on the front it was his grandfather Basil Hayden he put the picture on the front of his granddad a well-known master distiller in the in the mid 1800s um, and again, this company has been around for a long time in the early, even in the early 1900s, it was actually even owned by a company or family uh, ran a distillery called Walthins, right? You guys have probably heard of Walthins bourbon. I'll say, please, I'm not even doing a review on Walthins bourbon. Stay away from Walthins bourbon. That's all I'll say. I've never had a good bottle of Walthins bourbon. No need to review it because it's just that bad. All right. Bourbon Judge is keeping it real today. I'm sorry. I uh, I didn't do well on the golf course. You can see the tire. Hence, I got to keep it real with you guys. I mean, I always keep it real regardless, but I'm keeping it extra real today with you. As my man Mike, my uh, my manager Mike says, let's have a heart-to-heart -heart real conversation. So I'm, I'm keeping it real with you guys. All right. So that's the bottle. Let's go ahead and get into this nose. I want to see how similar it is to Old Tub. I don't know. So High Ride Mashville. We don't know the age statement. What to me stands out with this one is that it's definitely, uh, I know Jim Beam products are very nutty, right? Very kind of like nut peanut almost E, if you will. But uh, this one definitely does stand out very nutty, I'm not gonna lie. But it's not similar to, uh, to Old Tub. Old Tub was a little bit more softer, gentler, a little bit more even like floral with some fruit as well in there from the nose standpoint. This one's very traditional Jim Beam. Very nutty. Notes of like a little bit of honey. Wow, lots. Mm. Wow, lots of honey. Lots of honey and lots of nuts. Almost like a cereal. Lots of honey, lots of nuts. Wow, that's all that stands out. 
All right, folks. As we say, cheers. Thank you, guys and gals. So, I will say, everything transfers from the nose to the palate. The honey, the nuts, and a little bit of the caramel, but mostly honey and nuts with a high ride mash bill. Not very creamy at all. Not creamy, buttery, not from that perspective, right? This is truly all honey, all nuts. At $25, up to $30, depending on you know where you get it from, it's actually not bad, right? For 114 proof bourbon, if you're not really looking to break the wallet, right? This is actually not bad. Let me get a little bit more. Okay. All right. So let me give you the judgment. And let me give you a very quick bird's eye view when I do end up doing a, a true comparison. The judgment is in. This, it's a buy. Straight up. Is it the best bourbon in the world? world? Obviously not. You're paying $30 for it, right? But I will say, is it a good bourbon that's worth buying, enjoying, even on a nice cool day as it is today in the Northeast, about 75 degrees? Is it one that I'm enjoying out here in the uh, on the screen and porch? Absolutely, right? It's good, great quality. You know what you're going to get with Jim Bean products, right? Tons of honey, at least in this bad boy. Tons of nut, um, like that peanut, I should say. What's different about this versus the old tub? I don't get a ton of like that fruit, right? The, the old tub, I had a lot of like fruit. It was well-rounded um, as a whole. This one's a little bit spicier from like the, the, the nose was there. The palate was a little bit spicier like on the finish, right? Which makes sense with a high rye finish, high rye bourbon. Um, it was a little bit more just kind of a full finish. Just it's here, right? I'm an old granddad. Hey, keep it real. Very good. Not the best in the world, not the worst, but at $30, it's a buy. I'm a coming man, like many of you guys and gals out there. It's something that I'm enjoying today, and I will continue to uh, enjoy as I turn the camera off. Thank you guys and gals again for watching. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.